That is the call sign of this HTV. That is the Japanese word for white stork. So that is what you will hear them refer to that cargo craft as during tonight's flight. Twenty-three minutes now until the launch of HTV. From the HTV mission control room, and you're listening to Scuba Space Center. As we mentioned at the top of our broadcast, this uh, team there that you see there in Scuba Japan is working very closely with the team here in Houston. The flight director there in Japan for this evening is Kota Tanabe, the person who is going to be serving as the JAXA lead attached phase flight director is Mr. Takashi Uchiyama, also on console for the operations is Maki Maida. So that team there will uh, continue to monitor tonight's countdown proceedings. We are 21 minutes and 39 seconds away from the launch of the HTV. Here in Houston, handover is continuing between the different orbit shifts. Jerry Jason, who has been the uh, flight director for the last several hours, is ha currently handing over to Brian Smith, who will be the flight director. He is there on the right-hand side, Jerry Jason there on the left. You also see the model of the Japanese HTV uh, there on the top of the flight director console. But uh, a little more than 30 minutes ago, Jerry Jason and his team ran through their final go, no-go -go for tonight's launch. All systems were checked out uh, here in Houston. They verified that the International Space Station is in the proper configuration for tonight's launch. So they officially gave the go to their counterparts in Japan right before we went on the air this evening. Once again, a live look at the HTV sitting on top of the H-2B rocket. As we mentioned, soon after liftoff, that rocket will be pitched over and head toward the southeast over the Pacific Ocean. You're getting a good shot of uh, three of the four solid rocket boosters on the bottom of the H-2B rocket. Those will burn out at 1 minute and 57 seconds into the flight when the rocket is more than 30 miles high. About 10 seconds after that, at uh, 2 minutes and 7 seconds into the flight, the first pair will be jettisoned. Three seconds later, at 2 minutes and 10 seconds, the second pair will be jettisoned. At 3 minutes and 40 seconds into the flight, at an altitude of about 75 miles up, the fairing that is protecting and covering up the HTV, which you see a shot of there, will be jettisoned. At 5 minutes and 46 seconds, the first stage engine cutoff will occur. And five minutes and 54 seconds, the first and second stages will separate. At six minutes and five seconds into the flight, the second stage engine will be ignited. And that will burn for more than eight minutes. At 14 minutes and 15 seconds into the flight, the second stage engine will be cut off. And then at 15 minutes and five seconds into the flight, HTV-2 will be separated from its rocket and will reach its orbital insertion.
Once again, this is uh, live from Scuba Space Center. You're looking at a live footage from launch pad number two down in Tanegashima, where the weather's great, and we're about 15 minutes to launch time. Once again, that's video and audio coming to us from JAXA. They're bringing us live coverage of the uh, HTV rocket and H2B rocket as it stands on the pad there at the Tanagashima Space Center. We're now 17 minutes and 49 seconds away from tonight's launch. As we mentioned, it will take about a week for the HTV to head toward the International Space Station. The actual grapple will occur at 5.44 a.m. Central Time on Thursday, January the 27th. We'll have live coverage beginning at 5 a.m. Central Time on that day. The actual berthing will take place at 8.15 a.m. Central Time. And that will go on for about two hours. And, of course, we'll have live coverage of all that leading into that day's ISS update, which will occur at 10 a.m. Central Time. On February the 1st, the exposed pallet will be withdrawn from HTV itself using the station's robotic arm. Katie Coleman will be the prime crew member as part of Expedition 26 for all these operations. Paolo Nespoli. One of the other flight engineers will be assisting her and will be serving as her backup. But the station's arm will be used to uh, reach inside, grab on to that exposed pallet, which is carrying up uh, two very large pieces of external cargo for the station. That tray will be withdrawn. It'll be very carefully steered away from the HTV itself and then uh, turned back around up toward the Kibo Laboratory. There is an external pallet on the outside of Kibo. It is called the Exposed Facility. It serves as sort of the front porch for Kibo. There's quite a bit of experiments and uh, other items that are stored on the outside of that. That will be the temporary home for this exposed pallet. The crew will use the robotic arm that is on the end of the Kibo laboratory to grab on to uh, this exposed pallet and take over from the uh, station's robotic arm and it will be swung around and plugged into that uh, front porch of Kibo. From February the 2nd through the 4th, that is when all the different parts transfer, uh, will take place using the Canadian Dexter robot. Those spare parts are temporarily going to be stowed on Dexter itself until the arrival of ELC-4, which is a, an external stowage platform that will arrive on Space Shuttle Discovery. That exposed pallet that we showed you is going to be returned to HTV itself coming up on February the 7th. It'll be put back inside HTV, and that is where it will remain until the end of HTV's mission to the International Space Station. We would like to inform you of a final go, no-go decision. So we've just had the, uh, the announcement here in Tanegashima for 15 minutes before launch time. All systems are now in final operations. All safety measures were confirmed in the restricted areas. Also, the weather conditions were examined and confirmed. HTV rocket 2号機の打ち上げを本日日本時間の午後2時37分57秒に実施します。As a result, we are to launch the H2B launch vehicle number 2 at 2:37:57 p.m. Japan Standard Time. この HTV rocket 2号機は国際宇宙ステーション補給機コウノトリ2号機、HTV2の打ち上げを目的としています。the objective of today's launch is to inject the HTV-2 or the Kona-32, a cargo transporter, to the International Space Station. The nickname of the HTV, Kona-32, meaning a white stork, was chosen from the HTV nickname contest among the 17,000 entries. 
、Ｈ２Ｂ ロケット２号機の打ち上げ時刻は、本日、日本時間の午後２時３７分５７秒です。This is Mission Control Houston, back now with a live view inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center. That is Jerry and Jason coming into view as well as Brian Smith there on the right-hand side. They have completed handover activities here in Houston, so Jerry and Jason and his team are done for the evening. Brian Smith and his team will be on console for the next eight and a half hours or so. They will be watching over activities currently taking place in Japan as uh, both teams here in Houston and in Japan get ready for the launch of the HTV. On board the space station, the Expedition 26 crew is uh, currently in their sleep period. They had a very busy day uh, today. As Dmitry Kondratiev and Oleg Skropochka, two members of Expedition 26, wrapped up a five-hour, 23-minute spacewalk. They ventured outside the Russian segment of the station to install an antenna, as well as to retrieve some uh, experiment samples and also install some other items on the outside of that part of the station. It was the 152nd spacewalk in support of space station assembly and maintenance. It brings the total hours of spacewalk spent uh, on the station to 956 hours and 14 minutes. So the crew is uh, getting some rest now, although uh, Mission Control Houston is sending up our broadcast this evening so that the crew of Expedition 26 can follow along as this cargo craft heads toward them. Just a few minutes ago, you heard the uh, team there in Japan giving confirmation that the final go has been given. Uh, all systems are continuing to count down to tonight's launch. Once again, it's going to take place at 11.37 p.m. Central Time. That will be 2.37 uh, p.m. on Saturday uh, there in Japan. We're now 10 minutes and 30 seconds away from the launch. The weather is clear. There is no precipitation uh, anywhere near the launch complex. That had been a concern two nights ago, which was the original launch time for HTV. There was some weather in the area that uh, delayed the launch by 48 hours. But uh, all is looking good for today's launch. The temperature is about 52 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 11 degrees Celsius. And you see the uh, beautiful ocean there in the background as the clock continues to uh, count down. Ten minutes until the launch of HTV. All systems are go. The launch is 10 minutes before the launch. The Tanegashima Uchu Center, Takesaki Sogo Shiretou, from the H2B rocket 2nd launch is the launch of the launch. It's 10 minutes to launch. This is a live report of the H2B launch vehicle number 2 launch from the Takesaki Range Control Center at the Tanegashima Space Center. The launch is the launch of the launch. The launch is the launch of the launch. 現在のところ、すべて順調との報告を受けています。According to the launch site operators, they are now conducting the final checks, which are all progressing well.H2B ロケット2号機は、午前5時00分からターミナルカウントダウン作業を開始し、現在はその最終段階にあります。The terminal countdown operations for the H2B 